Welcome back, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. Good to see you back. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you, Brian. Chuck. Mark Howway. Good to see you, Gene. Bonnie, everybody. All right. Well, listen, I, I, I hate to be right. I really, really hate to be right. But did I tell you, how does it look like what's going on in the market today, everybody? What are you guys seeing? What did you guys find? Ken, slow? Let me tell you something. You know, this has been going on for years. I've been doing this for 25 years. They still say it. Why do they even keep the stock market open? It is just, I, I, I've seen days before Christmas, after Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, uh, 4th of July. This day, is, I mean, there is absolutely nada. You're right, Lita. I mean, there's really nothing really going out there other than shorting maybe some ETFs here. I mean, we're looking at this UGAZ, but I told you this was going to happen. And, you know, the kids are off from school not only today but tomorrow also. So it all you, you have to work your schedule around it. But it is absolutely dreadful out there that that is a good thing because you know what? This is what you learn, like, hey, honey, like when you're planning a vacation, you be like, oh, I know the perfect day that I can only go that will not affect work. And like, what do you mean? I thought you could do the same in the world. Yeah, but you know what? There are certain days that I, I really like to go away and things I don't want to go away. I don't want to go away on the most volatile times of the mark. I want to go when it's on the, you know, on a day like you said it today. So, you know, being Rosh Hashanah and, and, uh, you know, in all this, uh, the, the big Jewish holiday, I told you, it's, it's a very big Jewish community here in New York. Uh, and a lot of them do work on Wall Street. And not only that, but kids all from school. They took off on Friday. Friday was kind of slow, too. And then going into today, you see what to expect. And I did I tell you it was a triple it was a uh, it was a, uh, a triple a, a triple whammy. Not only that, but it is the last day of the pay period. So with the last day of the pay period, which is today, which we would say, why would the last pay, pay, pay period be on a Friday, on a Monday? Wouldn't you say Friday? Because today's the 30th and it's the last day of the month. So there's a lot of things that are coming to be a perfect storm. So this is great, though. I really, really happy that you guys were able to experience it. Now, does that mean that the market didn't open up and things are dead? No, we always find something that moves, you know. Maybe we'll find maybe who, you know what I mean, stocks. But if you miss those two, you know, listen, it's okay. Don't trade. Don't throw good money after bad money because, honestly, these are days like days I find out in the past that I just ring up ticket charges. And then you dig yourself into a little bit of hole and everything else. You should be here. You should observe. You should have a good time and talk to each other. Educate. Watch your classes. You got, um, you, you know, look forward to Traders Talk tomorrow. Benzinga is going to be here on Wednesday. I will be away next week at at. at at our traders uh, for a cause. I just found out uh, the Nigerian brothers, good friends of mine, they're going to be there too presenting. Hopefully some of you guys uh, are going to be coming joining me. I know some of you sent me an email, you're going to be coming, so that'd be great. But um, if you guys can still make it, you know, make the opportunity. It's a great, great event. Uh, but anyway, other than that, that's what, that's what basically you do. That's what you train for, to do these events, to learn, and to wake up in the morning and just make your days pay. So, what do we got going on? I mean, listen, um, as of Friday, I mean, there were a couple of stocks. The market did uh, drop steadily, steadily. You know, you had the TVIX that did move up. You know, on Friday, had a little bit of a pop right there. You could see it right there when I brought up the long-term chart there. But um, Uber just, you know, one thing I want to talk about, that Uber trade. Here we go. There you go. So Uber just breaking all time lows. That is not a good sign at all. And, um, you know, let me tell you, I own the stock. And you know, it's funny. I was talking about this stock. We had this conversation last week, you know, regarding about, you know, why would anybody want to sell a stock, sell Uber when everybody's projecting to go to 80? And, you know, I'm like, well, if you own the stock at $2 and you're Steve Bezos, uh, uh, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, your stock's at 40 why not sell it? You know, you got to remember a lot of these uh, insiders can't sell the stock for like minimum 30 days, or something like that, or the three months, there's a restriction on it on the private placement. So 
you know, listen, I, I was a huge fan on it. Let me tell you, I lost, I lost not a lot. I lost a little money on Uber because I was a very, very big fan. I was looking forward to this company go public. I thought the stock would be after seeing what happened with um, Lyft. But sure enough, thank God we got out of that thing. I'll tell you that, man. We really, really dodged a big bull. And you know what? Remember why, you know, and it's funny. I talked to, every, uh, I, I talked to almost every one of you. And, and I still talk to people till today that want to become a cyber trader. And you know what the main reason why they're here? You know why the main reason why a lot of people, not, not to be part of the team, but just want education? You know what their biggest issue is? Taking losses. And, you know, they don't know how to take a loss. Everybody talks about the winners. Nobody talks about the losers. And just kind of stressing this out regarding about this position, it's like, you know how many people right now are still hoping it'll go back to 44? What happens if it goes to 13, right? You, 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 right, Ken, you see, and even on a $9 trial, you could see the, some of the ignorance out there, which is not a bad thing. You know, I tell everybody, look at it. But, you know, believe it or not, for that, they get to see, like, holy cow, you guys get out of it? You think it's really not going up? I'm like, of course not. And I'm always saying, well, who trained you? Oh, I trained myself. Okay, well, how's that working out for you? It, you know, it, it's horrible, but sometimes, you know, somebody has to put you in your place. You know, somebody has to put you in your place and just tell you the fact is it that you just don't know what the hell you're doing. And you're going to blow up your account. You work so damn hard, you know, to save that money for your IRA and everything else. And you're blowing it because, you know, you don't want to take a loss. Remember, that's why we, that's, that's Cyber Training University's motto. When I did teach you how to teach you how to win, we teach you how to we don't teach you how to make money. We teach you how to uh, stop losing it. So anyway, a couple of stocks. Um, Terrell just brought up the AMD. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, did that really go down that much? I mean, I mean, I think the Micron was worse. Look at Micron. Micron's the one that took a huge hit, and it's still breaking new lows. And it's so funny. We, they were just talking about this the other day. They says, oh, we're saying Micron's going to go to 80. What about NVIDIA? NVDA, which I know we're not going to be trading, but NVIDIA is also taking a big hit. Major resistance levels at a buck 90. You know, this is travel. the same thing with everything else. So anyway, good lesson to you know, sit back and have fun observing. Now, there are a couple of stocks that are moving. We know about the MNK. Let me go through the watch list. I don't know what happened. The MNK had a, I'm, I'm looking here. There's been a huge iceberg order hovering right around here. You could see it at a buck 70. It hit a buck 70 in pre market around 8 o'clock. You could see that guy sitting out there for 52,000 shares, and it started backing off. So I thought, I thought the stock would probably be decent after we've been trading it for a while. But um, no mercy on this thing. April 24 down to two bucks. You know, so we'll keep an eye on this one. It's been fun. What else we got? Listen, the ETFs are the only things that are really moving. Got a nice short going on. There's UGAZ. But we all know about how to trade ETFs. A lot of volume. Got to be a little careful on those. Boil. Another one. Another ETF taking a little bit of a hit right here. And uh, I think the only one we've been really been showing this morning of any significancy of a, of a stock has basically been Bed Bath & Beyond. That's about it. Uh, BB Pass, 52-week lows, $5 during pre-market session, Ben. <sighs> My God, no mercy on that one. BlackBerry, right? Wow, look at that one. I guess it, uh, did it break all-time lows? Uh, Looks like it did, right? Yeah. Not looking too good for BlackBerry. You know what happens when you break an all-time low? So, so, so Ken, I mean, Ben, you, you, you're right, but you're wrong. It wasn't 52 weeks. It's all-time lows. And we all know when a stock breaks all-time lows, you know where the next support level is, everybody? When you break an all-time low? I was never a fan of 52-week highs and lows as much as some people pertain, but that's right, Mark. Zero. Exactly. Zero. People are like, ah, it's, 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 listen, ah, you know what? That's what goes down to a dollar. But remember when you, and, and let me kind of, let me give you a little tip of the day. Let me give you a little education on this, okay? Before we start getting ready to trade. Do you know why when you break, you know why everyone makes a big deal about when a stock breaks an all-time high and an all-time low? You know what the big concern is about that? Does anybody remember that from class? Why is everyone freaking out when it breaks an all-time low? 
Does anybody know? Well, on a ceiling, right, there's no roof. There is no support. And the reason for that, remember what makes support levels. What makes support levels and resistance is buyers and sellers. So now you're in uncharted territories. So when you're in uncharted territories, that means nobody. No, there's no program trading. There's nothing. No one owns it at that price. There'll be no one coming for your rescue. Okay, you're just the, you're you're there by yourself. So whatever the day is going to um, uh, predict or pertain, that's it. You're done. So the big issue is when you break through that low, you're there by yourself. There's no one there in history has owned this stock that will come to your rescue, and you're screwed. That's why people like, and that's what causes a chain reaction, which makes these things just like breaking all time highs. You're in uncharted territories. Nobody owned at these prices. People are short. Maybe they got to cover wherever it is. So something, one of the big things we always enjoy. Uh, one last one uh, stock. We'll just check with Bonnie. She wants me to check out this uh, RGNX trade. So uh, I spelled it wrong. here. RGNX. So RGNX is up about 6%. 700 shares, Bonnie. Not what we're looking at at all. Total waste of time. All right? All right, guys. So, anyway, good luck today. Um, to all my uh, Jewish friends out there, I wish you all a um, happy uh, Rosh Hashanah. And uh, in the meantime, guys, let's be uh, just be very careful today. Last day to pay period, holiday, and also... Uh, you know, now it's a Monday, so everything, you got the little triple witching right there. So be very careful. But if we see something, say something. And by the way, for all the new members that are joining us today, listen, this is great. I'm glad you get to see, you know, you don't have to force something that's out there. But um, make sure you talk to education advisors. Look, listen, and learn. And, uh, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll, you, got, you got a whole week to get to enjoy what, the, what to expect, what a slow day is versus what a great day is, right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.